I've been playing Ubisoft Skull and Bones playtest for a week now and that game is just butt. It's got nothing to do with the video, I just had to put the information out there. Anyways, leaks are a very prevalent thing in our modern internet culture. You know, technology is the most accessible that it's ever been before. And with that, you'll have people who either make positive use out of it or try to be like the guy who's in legal trouble for leaking Grand Theft Auto 6. Even though both of those are honestly W's if you ask me. Leaks and unreleased games go hand in hand like humans in peak COVID-19 in 2020. You know, a lot of people in this case games might not have been affected, but you know, even more had no choice but to catch that shit. And we see these gaming leaks so much now that honestly, you know, most people are almost numb to it. Like, you know, every other week the next Fortnite DLC or skin gets leaked ahead of its release, or maybe you see leaked gameplay of a title that people didn't really care about anyway, you know, just every week. But you see, those are just small examples of the type of leaks that we see, you know, so often in gaming right now. But I might have said that most of us are kind of numb to seeing these types of leaks, but we still do have rare cases when people out there just randomly decide to up the ante on malicious internet shit and just cause a leak that not only affect big games, but even worst case scenario, real lives. Now, to be fair, all leaks for gaming are pretty bad since it's unauthorized release of stuff that the developers worked hard on or at bare minimum took MW3's route and just copied and pasted. But today, we might have seen the worst of 2023's leaks with PlayStation's exclusive studio Insomniac Games having a major leak due to failing a ransom request from a devious hacker group. Now, Insomniac Studios makes some of the best exclusive and honestly just games right now in the current market, you know, including the current Spider-Man games, Ratchet and Clank, and the upcoming Wolverine game, just to name a few. It is one of the few modern game studios that has a mostly positive stigma around them due to their success, so I'm guessing that made them a prime target for this hack, even though the target should have been Ubisoft for stealing a week's worth of my time. And if you didn't already see, last week, a cyber ransom group named Ricida claimed to have got a hold of very sensitive data from Insomniac Studios, including early prototypes of upcoming games, future business plans, including most of their next games that we don't even know about, and worst of all, employee records and tax information. They took this data and told the world that they would publish it within seven days, but in the meantime, they offered it up exclusively for auction starting at around 2 million US dollars, you know, just some really shady stuff. Now, a few days ago, you know, when Sony was questioned about all of this happening, they didn't really seem too concerned about it and by their statements looked to have it all under control. But unfortunately, in the wee hours of this morning, it all went to ground zero. Ricida published a whopping 1.67 terabytes of all this data on the dark web for anyone to access. Confidential documents and plans are right now just floating around on the internet, which I can't even fathom how dangerous and destructive this could be to the business of Insomniac and its employees. And like I said, you know, among these leaks are the upcoming games of Insomniac that would have been amazing to see get announced for the first time. And I'm going to say a few of them, but if you want to keep your Insomniac excitement virgin, you can skip ahead. You know, this is your spoiler warning. Among some of these games leaked was obviously the next Wolverine game we already know about, but this is apparently going to tie into a future X-Men game, which the whole X-Men IP is exclusive to Insomniac until 20. 35. There's going to be a third Spider-Man game along with a spin-off title based on Venom which people were already expecting and a launch of a new Ratchet and Clank title coming soon. All really cool games that are probably going to be amazing but for some won't get the excitement that they deserve since this hacker group just decided to wake up and choose violence today. Now this is all just very sad to see. I mean you know as disappointed as I am to see these games get leaked. I feel even more bad for the people whose personal information is just out there on the web. I've personally been identity hacked once before and that sh is no joke whatsoever. Not only do you need to change every account that you might have, but there's no telling what damage that's already been done that you've got to get corrected with the slow moving ass government. Not to mention the people who have families tied to their information, man. So, you know, that's just really sad, dude. 
So I'm just hoping that the employees are doing well from all this going forward, even if the games get pushed back or outright canceled because of all of this happening. My message to everyone watching right now is to just be very careful online because people are honestly just insane and you know don't really care more than just a financial gain. So make sure you use authenticator apps for your passwords and maybe not click to see if there's a hot and ready milf near you you know your chances are pretty low but that's the current state of insomniac games and you know sony as of right now hopefully everything gets situated and you know the people affected get everything corrected in a timely manner and we can probably still see these games get released in the future So, what do you guys think about this hack going on right now, man? Feel free to comment down below. And as always, if you like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next one.